Hey guys, it's your girl Courtney here. I am back with another video and today's video is all about beauty, skincare, all the things. And if you like those types of videos, please be sure to like, comment, give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification for any more updates from your girl, me. Okay, so let's get into a few of these items. First, I am going to start with skincare. Um, the first thing that I got was and I've never tried this product. This is Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. It's the Clarifying Exfoliating Toner. Um, I picked this up and I absolutely love her packaging. I thought, okay, Courtney, you are about out of your toner. It's time to try some new. And since I saw this in the store at a good price point, I thought I'd pick this up. The next item that I picked up was the Kylie Skin Clarifying Cleansing Gel. Again, her packaging is on point. And her bottle's like this. I don't know what any of this smells like. Let's see if I can smell it. I have not heard the girlies on social media talking about this product um, or Kylie Skin in general. I know that, of course, they promote their own stuff, but I haven't heard anybody really talking about it. And I kind of tried to go find reviews, um, but I really haven't found any significant reviews on her products. So I thought I'd give it a go. The next thing I picked up is the Kylie Skin Clarifying Facial Oil. This, you know, a girl can never go wrong with clarifying facial oil. Um, so I decided to pick this one up as well. So I got those three products from Kylie Skin and I will definitely give you guys a review. I have not been sponsored on any of these products. So everything that you see in this video has been purchased with my own hard earned money. So. Yeah, um, the Clarifying Cleansing Gel is the next item that I picked up. And I, again, love their packaging. And this comes in a pump. I love a cleansing gel that comes in a pump. I feel like this is like just pump, pump, and do your thing. I love me a pump container, bottle, packaging for skincare. The next thing I picked up is the Kylie Jenner Clarifying Exfoliating Toner. I am out of toner. Um, the toner that I've been using was the Clean and Clear, and I don't even use it every day. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm just trying to get my beauty regimen going for the first time. I, I never had a routine. I just did my thing and went. I really never had any major skin issues. Next thing that I picked up was the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. I love, love Ole Hendrickson brand. Um, so I definitely wanted to give this a go. Another item that I picked up was the Firmly Yours Toning Dry Body Oil. I have taken this out of the package and used it. I absolutely love the color. I love the top. It's not too oily, if you can see. I just put a little goes a long way. And I don't even know if you can see the difference. Yeah, you can see a little bit of shine right there. Yeah, I love it. I feel like this is great to toss in your bag when you're traveling. Another thing that I picked up from the Olay Hendrickson brand was the Beam Cream Smoothing Body Moisturizer. And I thought that this would be good to toss in a purse, in an overnight bag, your travel bag, what have you. And again, I love the packaging. It's very creamy. Love, love, love. And it has a great smell to it. So no complaints there. The next thing I picked up was some makeup wipe removers. Now, I have a problem that when I go in Target, Walmart, what have you, and I'm looking for makeup wipe removers, they never have them stocked on the shelves. The girls are buying them up like crazy. And so when I actually went into Ross, Dress for Less, and I picked up not one, not two, not three, but four packs of makeup wipe removers because again, I don't want the rose water, micellar water, facial talents. I want the makeup remover wipes to take this off of my face before I damage my white washcloths. <laughs> so those are some things that I picked up. Another thing that I picked up was 
Pat McGrath's Lip Stick. And I actually have it on with a MAC lip pencil. Um, this is in the color Rouge 8. I'm usually not a red girl, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's cute. Let me give it a go. And I can't complain. I chopped off the top, but that's the color. It's a real pretty red, if you can see that. And I love, you see how that, the design on there? Oh, love it. It's a very pretty color. It's, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's not drying, and it's long lasting because I had it on the other night. The next thing that I picked up when I was in Ross was backup. If you are a TikTok girly through and through, then you know about the Guru Nanda oil pulling. I have it. I love it. I have bought the mouthwash. I have bought Guru Nanda everything, right? And so when I was in Ross, I found these Guru Nanda mint floss picks. Now, they were only $2.99 in Ross, and you can't beat that price with a stick. Now, let me be very clear. All Rosses are not created equal. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. So when I buy, when I find things in Ross, they're not going to be what you find back home or wherever, because I guarantee you all Rosses are not created equal. This is like an upscale Ross that I go to. And how is Ross upscale? I don't even know. <laughs> the next thing that I picked up was um, at a place called Ollie's. It is located beside my gym. I actually had this on when I was in Dubai and it was in the spray form. This is the Copper Tone Glow Shimmer and it's with SPF 50. I tried to take the tag off, but of course it was being very stubborn. This is everything. I first discovered this in TJ Maxx and it was in the spray form and I have not seen it in a store since. And so when I saw this bopping around in the store because I didn't want to go home, <laughs> Oh, I put too much on it. Look at that shimmer. I don't even know if you can, there you go. Now you can see it. You see that shimmer? I love me a good shimmer. I love putting it on my body, like for the spring, summer, like dresses, all kinds of things. Like I have shimmer for days for the spring, like spring, summer, and just if I'm going out and my chest is out, my arms are out, my legs are out, you will see shimmer on my body. So love, 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 love this. Um, just for the record, if any of these products that I have here, I will definitely leave a link down below if you're interested in purchasing any of them. Please note like this, you're not, I'm not gonna have a link to Ross um, or this, I'm not gonna have a link to Ross, but if I do find it at another location online that I can link it, I'll be sure to do so. Another thing that I picked up, let's talk about shimmer is the Tom Ford Soleil Neige Shimmering Body Oil. Again, your girl loves shimmer during the spring and summer months when my skin is showing. And so I just stocked up on these, one to keep in my um, bathroom here, and then one to keep in my beauty bag for travel. Those definitely love it. When I go shopping for makeup, I try to have one that I can keep in my makeup bag or here at home. And then I try to have one for travel. So I don't have to keep going out buying stuff um, for traveling because I used it all up on a regular day. So anyway, speaking of fragrance, Monroe Steele put me on to this particular fragrance. She mentioned it in one of her YouTube videos. And Monroe Steele, I feel like she is so underrated. I don't feel like she gets enough, she gets enough credit um, but she's always on it to me and I am um, love her. She put me on to the eccentrics molecule number one. Now this has been something I have been wanting for a minute now, but it is always sold out. So when I saw this back in stock, your girl had to grab it. I sprayed this the other day and baby, when she said that the people were coming after her like, hey, you smell good, what are you wearing? I see why. And I'm sure you can layer the scent. I think she had it layered. So chef's kiss. Okay, this next um, perfume, fragrance, should I say. Um, I have been wanting this for a while now. Um, and you know that price point kind of gets you where you're like, eh, eh. That's like one night at a hotel price point. Um, well, since I haven't been on vacation, I decided to 
book my one night stay at the house. <laughs> this is, I'm going to call it TT. I think it's Tizani, Terenzi, something. Dun -dun 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 -dun. This is the Cassiopeia. Um, Y'all, this fragrance is long lasting, lingering. You smell like that rich boop. Like this right here is everything. I am going to pop this open when I get ready to go somewhere. Um, definitely can't wait to wear this. To me, it's more of a spring summer fragrance. It's very light, but it has a kick to it. Love, 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 love. Okay, so this next thing, um, speaking of vacation, if you know me, I love me a hotel room with a jacuzzi, um, jacuzzi, a jacuzzi tub, and I love to pop in my Lush bath bombs it's something about unwinding for the day unwinding from an excursion unwinding from being at the pool the ocean what have you or even just a normal day at home i picked up this this oh gosh this is like one of my favorite this is the lemongrass by lush and it is a bath bomb. And I also picked up two other ones. This is the uh, lavender. This is the bedtime aroma therapy type. And you keep it in the cheesecloth because they said that it had like flowers infused in here. So I guess to keep you from clogging up your tub, um, you keep it in this. I picked these, I picked two of these up. I always like to keep these on deck for when I travel and just to have at home. But because I know I'm going to be traveling soon, I wanted to make sure I had some in stock. The next thing that I picked up was the Grown Alchemist Hydro Restore Cream Cleanser. You guys, if you go in my bathroom, you will see the eye serum. I use the... Um, the gel form of the cre uh, the facial cleanser now. And so I wanted to pick up the cream cleanser because I love the gel cleanser so much. I like the gel cleanser um, because it comes in a pump. This one does not come in a pump, but nonetheless, I know I will love it just the same. Again, when I do try this cream cleanser, I will definitely give you guys a review if you're interested and let you know how I like this, along with the Kylie products and the Ole Hendrickson products that I have yet to try. Again, these are some new products that I have not tried. Um, so minus, I know what this smells like, I know what this smells like, and I know what this smells like. So <laughs> all the other products, oh, and I've had this before. So all the other products are new. Um, so I have not tried those. So if you do want to review, make sure you leave that down below and I'll be able to get back to you. Another thing that I did open up a while ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. I absolutely love this. I do my skincare at night, pop this on, go to bed, and I feel like a new woman. I am so glad that I have started to make time for me. A lot of us get busy doing things for other people, just going to work, just getting busy with everyday life, that we don't take that, that 30 minutes to ourselves and do skincare, go to the gym, do yoga, whatever it is that makes you happy. Um, and so I highly suggest you take that time and start doing that again. I started implementing a beauty routine and I absolutely enjoy every moment of it. Another thing that I picked up, speaking of lip stuff, I picked up the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I did try this. This is in Vanilla Beige. I tried this already. Love it. The I also got the Lip Dior one and I don't have it beside me. It's in my makeup bag. I love that as well. These two right here. You know, I'm a CarMax girl through and through CarMax or whatever. <laughs> Not CarMax, CarMax girl. And I love my CarMax. I have about 30,000 CarMax. I have about 30,000 in this house somewhere, every little corner. But if you want a nice sheen glaze, Summer Friday, this I love. And I love the, Leo, the Dior lip oil as well. The next thing that I picked up is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in color Walnut. I got two of these because again, I like to buy sets because when I travel, I like to have more than, I like to have one at home and I like to have one in my beauty bag. 
So, and plus these stay sold out in my color all the time. So I was like, yeah, that's not gonna happen this time. So I grabbed two when they came back in stock. The next thing that I picked up was $4.99 from TJ Maxx and it is the Morphe Microfiber Beauty Sponge. I was like, yes, I will get it because I usually get the beauty blenders that are $20 at Sephora. So $4.99 price point is everything. The next thing that I picked up was the Solar Wave Advanced Skincare Red Light Therapy Wand. My goodness. This is something new that I incorporated in my skincare routine along with this other product that I picked up, which is the Vanity Planet Facial Steamer. I put on my serums, my do I do my cleansing and all of that, and when I put this on, oh, chef's kiss. I put on my serums and everything at my nighttime skincare, do my nighttime skincare routine, do these. My face feels so tight and right with this. After I do my serums and steam my face, oh my goodness. Another thing that I picked up, if you know, you know, this is some of the prettiest brand packaging I have seen in a long time. This is the Beyonce Secret or Sacred or whatever her whatever the name is supposed to be. This is the Reconstructive Treatment Mask. I also picked up the Moisturizing Deep Conditioner. And then I also picked up the Clarifying Scalp and Shampoo. I the packaging is everything. Again, I am not sponsored. This is not a PR package. This is stuff that I bought with my own money. And I can't wait to try out her products. The last thing that I got has been something that I've seen on Instagram and the girls have convinced me. I have been influenced, okay, in a big way because this is not, um, this is a splurge, you hear me? This is the Dr. Dennis Gross uh, Red Light Therapy Mask. Now, yes, I do have the Solo Wave, which is also a red light therapy mask, but this is one that could go in your travel bag. This one you can take on the go, easy to travel with. This one, I probably wouldn't travel with this because um, this would not go in my suitcase. This would have to be in my carry-on, and I carry too much stuff to take this big mask. But because it was a bundle set, your girl had to pick it up. I cannot wait to try this mask out. This comes with the um, daily peels. It comes with 10 of these. It comes with the serum. Let me get it out. The fill and repair serum. It does not want me to take it out because it does not want me to be great. Um, it comes with the fill and repair serum. This says that 97% of its subjects showed overall improvements on fine lines and wrinkles, skin tone and acne with the daily peel that I got 10 packs of. 92% saw clearer, firmer skin in one week. And for the fill-in repair serum, 94% of the subjects showed immediate skin barrier improvement. So, say less. Say less. Again, I'm going to incorporate this in my beauty skincare regimen, and I cannot wait to try that out. I will definitely let you know what I think about that and if it's worth the money. Now, this is a bundle pack. That's why I got it. This mask alone, just the mask. Just the red light mask is $500. So the fact that it, this is 500. So the fact that it came with all of this other stuff, and I know these are like $97, these little packs, I had to pick it up. So I'll make sure I leave this down below. This is a limited edition, so yeah. I make sure I leave all of that down below if you're interested. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, for sticking around this long. If you like these types of videos, again, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below if you have any questions, concerns, or anything, what have you. Please let your girl know. I'll be glad to answer and respond. Follow me on my social medias. I'll leave it down. My social medias, Lord have mercy. Follow me on my social media. I will leave it down below. It's Courtney Mason on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, all the things. It is Courtney Mason. That's two E's know why. But anyway, thanks again so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.